Hi guys, welcome back to Think View. My name is Williams, and today we're gonna make a pretty fun video, which is testing game and the working performance and battery life between a laptop with an Intel Core Ultra 7 and a MacBook M3 to see how the result turns out, okay? The two devices I'm using are the Dell Inspiron 2024 and the MacBook Pro 14 M3, both with the 16GB RAMs, so the comparison is quite balanced. Without further ado, let's dive into the first game, Stray. It's surprising that the Apple M3 gives higher FPS in Full HD and high setting compared to the Dell Inspiron, with the MacBook reaching over 30 FPS while the Dell only gets around 30. However, I find the graphic on Stray on MacBook look worse than the Windows laptops. Details are extremely reduced and the contrast is lacking. Then moving on to a visually stunning game, Lies of P. This is a game that supports HDR, so playing on MacBook screen looks beautiful, with the reflections of light being quite different compared to the most Windows laptops. And once again, the MacBook Pro 14 M3 has a higher FPS, reaching nearly 50 FPS, while the Dell Inspiron with the Intel Core Ultra 7 only get around 40 FPS. Additionally, the MacBook performed well in an image upscaling. Using Metal FX upscaling, while the Dell Inspirons use a game default AMD FSR. So, if I set the upscale mode to the highest performance, meaning the graphics are reduced to optimize performance, the detail on the MacBook still look good enough to play. While the Dell Inspirons show noticeable blurriness, I think Nvidia 3LSS 3.0 would be great in this case, as AMD FSR is free. Any laptop can apply this, so the quality of this technology is unstable in some cases. But overall, in lies of P, the Apple M3 continues to win in terms of performance. And through the two games that I just test, you might find that the performance on the Apple M3 is quite impressive. Moving on to Baldur's Gate 3, the difference is even more clear. With the MacBook reaching 45 FPS, while the Dell Inspirions only manage around 20 FPS. In all the games that I have tested, the Apple M3 consistently achieves higher FPS. When it comes to work experience, I render using Blender, Lightroom, and Premiere. For Blender, it's software that fully supports all API graphics from Apple Metal, Nvidia CUDA, to Intel One API. I take Metal options in MacBook and One API in Dell Inspiron. When running, even the integrated ARC graphic cards from Intel, though it's a new graphic card line, is optimized quite well, running at full capacity. However, speaking of performance, it seems that the Apple M3 still proves faster rendering speed. Okay, so the Apple M3 has won the Blender test. Moving on to Lightroom, I will export around 50 raw image file. The result is the same. Apple M3 is way faster than the Intel Core Ultra 7. Finally, Premiere. I render a 4K footage lasting around 10 minutes. And the MacBook render much faster. Finally, about the battery life that I have few notes. Firstly, is that I won't have any benchmark tests on the battery life because the benchmark result show a significantly longer time than we actually experience it in the real world. So don't rely much on the battery benchmark test. Secondly, it's not all models of the Intel Core Ultras is optimized for this chip. For instance, the ThinkPad X1 Carbon Gen 12 hasn't updated its BIOS to support Intel Core Ultra 7 yet, which is why I haven't reviewed that model. And thirdly, a battery life is depends on a lot of factors such as a screen or the battery capacity. For example, the Asus ZenBook 14 OLED with the OLED screen consume more power, lasting around 7 hours. Why this Dell Inspiron lasting around 8 hours, but it's still worse than the MacBook Pro 14 M3 with 10 hours. So some Windows laptops have more durable battery life, but they still have not matched the ease with the MacBook Pro 14, achieve around 10 hours of battery life. Okay, so that is the comparison between the Apple M3 and the Intel Core Ultra 7. The result surprised me a lot because I thought the Windows laptops are more better in gaming experience, but I guess I was wrong. Okay, so that's some of my thoughts about those two devices. What do you guys think? Please comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. My name is William. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.